Hi, welcome to this presentation on Nostis Extreme Document Studio. Today we're going to see how to use PDF forms as data entry templates in Delphi FireMonkey applications. Nostis Extreme Document Studio is a native document processing library for Delphi FireMonkey and VCL applications. Extreme Document Studio also includes a native multi-format document viewer that supports viewing documents on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. In version 2017 R5, the document viewer includes support for interactive PDF form filling. Form fields in a document can also be bound to data. This enables us to use PDF forms as ready-made data entry templates. Let's see how. We'll start from the point where we already have our data connectivity set up. In our case, we are using a REST data snap server that exposes a vendor tax information table. This table captures the information in the original US government W9 form. We're going to use that original form as our ready-made data entry template. In the client application, we connect to our database server and get access to our vendor tax information data, which is then made available to our main form user interface. On the main form user interface, we put down our user interface elements which include our document viewer. Then we configure our document viewer. Now you have granular control on the page content you want to render and made interactive. And if made interactive, if you want to still make it only available as read only, you can do that too. So we select interactivity for forms in this case. Then under forms, we can configure several appearance properties for different types of form fields and different states of those form fields. For example, we can make the field glow when it's focused. Once we have set up those properties, we bind the fields to data. And for that, we need to write some code. I know the field names of the PDF form fields. Using that information, we call the add field binding method on the document viewer through the forms data binding property. To the method, we pass the binding source, the data field name, and the field name in the PDF. We have one special case in our form where multiple checkboxes represent only one piece of information. 
and that is in this case the company type. The document viewer allows us to bind multiple form fields to a single data field as we have done here. All of the checkboxes are bound to a single data field. And then we need some magic. The document viewer allows us to map values of a form field to custom values to store in the data field. That's done using the add value binding method on the document viewer. Here we pass the PDF form field that we want to set a special value to and the actual value of the form field that we want to bind a custom value to and then the actual custom value itself. In this case, we map the true value of the checkbox to the actual value that needs to be stored in the data field. Here's the working application on Windows. As we browse through the records in the database, we can see the form values change in the PDF form as well. The same on the Mac. And on the iPad as well. and on Android too. You can download the free trial of Extreme Document Studio Delphi by following the link on the screen. You can mail us at support at if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.